The following program is rated TV MAL. It contains strong language and is intended only for mature audiences. Whatever. We're all... Yeah, fuck yeah. Yeah. Sorry, Sterling. Sorry, Sterling. Oh. <laughs> I'll grab it later. Fuck, who wants to start? You will not, God. You want to start or something? No, you're starting, mate. Mix it up, mate. Go on, you can do it. Yeah, I'll yeah. yeah. oh, believe in you. Yeah. Do what I say. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Pack Podcast featuring Bloody Boom Beers. That was so shit. As <laughs> <laughs> my intro class has been taken. Hi, Hi guys. guys. Oh, hey yeah. guys, my name is Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> it's my first time TV. I haven't had a beer in three days. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fuck, I'm we should have got beers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. fuck oh, off. Oh, you okay. guys want to start it? <laughs> <laughs> G'day guys, welcome back to another episode of On The Pierce uh, and also the Pack Podcast. We're fucking coming at ya. Yes. Double Liberation. Double team in this. We coming twos! We coming twos! <laughs> <laughs> How are we boys? I've been fucking Mate, you excited nailed that. for this all You day. nailed that. I fucking tried to fall See, unlike you boys, we actually do this every week. Yeah. We do it every week, so he gets a bit of practice. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like my boxing match. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to fight? Yeah, no problem. No cardio. Horrible. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, you did well. Oh. Yeah, it was great. I was just sitting on the couch watching that. It was oh, awesome. Mate, it was fucking I saw so old mate rock out with headgear and I was like, oh, Coward, yeah, coward yeah. of the highest order. If you're yeah. listening, why the fuck would you say, yeah, I'm going to go box tonight yeah. in a fucking headgear. scuba tank? Yeah. He didn't it, it need it either. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if he hadn't maybe yeah. seen his op- op- opposition, he wouldn't have worried. <laughs> I was going to say, it was pretty funny. Um, you got in the fist like pillows, you dog. <laughs> in the Friday night chat afterwards, Freeney was like, oh yeah, like... I was gassed in the third round. I was like, no, you weren't. You were gassed at the end of the first, bro. <laughs> Middle of the second. <laughs> Let's stretch that. Let's round it up That's, a bit. that's pretty much when I started yeah, watching. Right. I went into the third with nothing left, though. I'll tell you yeah. that. Oh, man, it looked like you could barely stand up. I was oh. waiting for you just to hug on him. And- uh, the coach was just like, mate, you need to fucking hold on for this last round. I'm like, I'll try, mate. <laughs> <laughs> so for those who didn't know, Freeney had a uh, boxing fight. Was it last weekend or the weekend before? Yeah, last week. And yeah. how'd you go again? How was the result? Drew. <laughs> I don't know how. I don't know much about boxing, but if a bloke stands there with headgear on and gets fucking flogged in the face for three rounds, <laughs> you think he'd lose. You're a bit kind with flogged in the face. Yeah. Oh, look, a get, lot of, I'm, gets oh, lent on. You know, you got to tell the truth sometimes. I did like, try to tackle like, him. Most of the punches were like, sort of not punches, it was like pushes. Like, that was my jab. I don't have a jab, I'll be honest. Let me get my breath back. Let me get my breath like, back. Ah. It was like slowly ah. hit him, but then push him. Yeah. <laughs> it felt like it's gone fast. <laughs> Ooh. I'm not gonna lie, I was sitting there waiting for the result and the refs got you both like by the hand when he held both hands up I just started pissing my <laughs> like, yeah, that's what I mean I don't, so get it. I don't get it he's fucking covered in blood he stopped yeah. he knocked him down a couple of times he, or whatever. <laughs> he had to stop yeah. imagine trying it. to score that fight like being a judge Fuck See, yeah. look at these fucking details <laughs> I try to tackle him out of the ring you know how sometimes you can like you see in the, in the fucking boxing matches or whatever <laughs> where you fling them hard enough they go in between yeah yeah, yeah. I tried to do that it didn't work tried to fling I'm say, like, speaking of judges and that sort of thing like what point do you look at yourself and go how the fuck did I get here yeah. like yeah. this is just Who's two blokes who are so average yeah <laughs> okay. everyone's like why, why did you wear why did you wear a fucking rash shirt out there <laughs> yeah. I'm like and because because yeah. I know because I I, 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 <laughs> I'm sorry. Going for a quick I, or, I, I ordered some boxing pants <laughs> From Bangladesh. <laughs> and they come back. XL, I've got double XL. Mind you, I'm like, I've got double XL. Can't go wrong. Couldn't even get them over my knees. <laughs> oh, that fucking Bangladeshi was double that, XL. Was that the biggest size as well? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's it. That's the biggest fucking size there was. And it couldn't even go over my knees. So you knees. opted for Jeez. the three the three quarter length billabongs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, no, so I just got a pair of footy shorts or whatever it was. And, oh, and, then, awesome. and, then, I, and then I was going to get like um just like a singlet. But then I had I forgot to grab it, obviously, because I'm not organized. Mm. And then I just had one of those Under Armour fucking <laughs> undergarments. Yeah. I was like, I'm wearing that. Everyone's giving me shit. I'm like, fuck off, man. I'm the, when, I, when I'm sitting there just blowing absolute diesel, yeah. sucking through a straw on my 
one of three breaks. <laughs> I don't want people to be having fucking high quality photos, <laughs> taking photos of me. Of me and my dad's rashy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> me and my dad's rashy. Oh, was it under armor or was it billabong? No, it was under armor. Oh, okay. oh, whatever. It looks Same very shit. billabong. Yeah. But, but basically, if I was a body surfer, I'd be the one at the fucking... <laughs> full face uh, just going straight down that's what sort of With rash your, was your legs coming back up over your head yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, so, fucking, you know, so yeah funny. everyone's giving me shit I'm like I don't give a fuck mate yeah. I look so muddy at the moment you get fucked yeah fuck you know what I mean do you yeah. agree I do yeah fuck because he come out and he had little little titties I was yeah like, he did oh, like ridiculous <laughs> yeah glass ridiculous. house it's gone <laughs> yeah yeah mine was a bit more <laughs> yeah because of the fucking under armour and I didn't have headgear on it was actually Full transition, so <laughs> you did well. <laughs> Imagine if that was true. And I, ju- and I drew with the fucking. I'm not. I'm not getting this cancelled. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, we've already had a couple of run-ins this week. Thank you, uh, Toby boy. So yeah, fuck yeah. Yes. If you're listening, you know, you know, fucking grow up. Yeah, <laughs> grow up. Grow up. Don't grow assume. Up. Yeah. yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Buy some, buy some popcorn from Ari. <laughs> yeah. It's good shit. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, what else do you do on the weekend? Anything? Anyone? Um oh, yeah. I got fucked up on Friday. Did yeah. You? Where at? I was at uh Snooze's brother is he's meant to go to New York last year to go to acting school on Broadway where I think fucking Heath Ledger went. So Oh nice. Yeah, right. so nice. what steps are following? Yeah. <laughs> Hope he doesn't <laughs> die. It's that easy. It's My that missus easy. actually Hope said, he doesn't die. <laughs> My missus said was like, Oh, that's awesome. Imagine if he turned out like him. I was like, We don't oh, want that happening. Oh, oh, she was like, Oh fuck. Yeah, true. Like, uh, rest he's in pretty peace. good at that. Um <laughs> But fuck, there, there was like, so I didn't really know anyone that was there. And um, <laughs> so well, I took it upon myself. So it was pretty funny, actually. Two of the boys, there was this one so, chick okay, there. Okay, let's just walk through. So yeah. if anyone knows <laughs> Snooze, yeah. is yeah. his brother the total opposite? Um, they look the same, sort of act similar, but like, he, like he's got his head switched on. We had him on the podcast like <laughs> yeah. like a month ago, so oh, people people who are yeah. listening from our side, yeah. Will know so who he's is. like literally so similar to Snooze, but just like properly spoken. <laughs> oh, it's <laughs> fun. Snooze. Did if you don't know, know who Snooze is, right, is oh, you got to watch the episodes with Snooze. Yeah. On. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. fucking funny. It was like, yeah. yeah. just yeah, let's fucking call the tractors. I'll just get a message next month. We can't knock his head off. No, no, yeah. Um, but yeah, so um, <laughs> nice segue, guys. It's pretty funny, actually. So I, yeah, I just got left by myself. So one of the boys went off to another party. <laughs> I had no idea who all these other random little younger people were. They're like twenty twenty one, so what felt that, pretty old. Age? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Love it, absolutely love it. But um, two of the boys, there was this chick that was just toey as all night, and she just. She was playing pool against one of the boys, and then all of a sudden just dragged him away. We're like, oh. oh, that was fucking weird. And then Snooze like walked around the corner. Yeah, fucking. And <laughs> and they were just yeah, like all frazzled or whatever. And he's like, Oh yeah, right over. Oh, uh. Then he started hooking up with her. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then like an hour later, that same chick was hooking up with the first bloke. And then it just kept like interchanging between. And then like, I don't know, I just I just lost everyone. It was free piss. Hang on. And so you're hanging out with Franny's mum. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Oh, wow. Chrissy oh, Fan would eat you, can't say. Yeah, she would. She's she awesome. Would, she would sink more piss than you do. <laughs> probably. I don't deny that. I'd probably draw all. with her in a boxing fight. <laughs> but I sort of came to this like point at the night where I was like, well, I don't know anyone. I sort of want to have a good time. It's either I go home or I just do something. So I fucking grabbed a bottle of Pinot Grigio and went, hey, look at this. And just necked that. And oh, fuck. I made a lot of friends. How good that? <laughs> and then I went Where out. Where were you? Oh, I just did his house. Yeah, right. And then I went out. A whole bottle? I got refu- yeah, a whole bottle just Jesus necked it. It was, it was so fucked. Just and just I just went. Been there. Like, bro. <laughs> Three times. You know, when you just, like, you know, when you, that exact moment when you're blacked out. Like, yeah. the next day, I woke up, was at my missus' place, and I was like, oh, fuck. I absolutely <laughs> jail. let the dog <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. My well, only great collection result. after that <laughs> was I rocked up to the Osborne. <laughs> And I tried to go into the Osborne and the boat like kicked me out. And I was like, you're ridiculous. I'm not even fucking pissed. And I woke up the next morning and just like giggle being like, what yeah. a fucking idiot. But yeah, no, it was good. And then I don't know what I also did for the rest of the weekend. I did absolutely I did, nothing. I did fuck all away. My mum moved, sold a house and moving out. So I had to fucking pack shit up. That's all we'll speak of it because it was horrible. Yeah. Sounds awesome, man. I wish I was there. Yeah, it was so bad. <laughs> so, so bad. Uh, speaking about, um, no, we're not going to go there. 
Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Ding. <laughs> Yeah, no, no, we'll go, we'll go there. Fucking. No, well, you normally start our podcast with um, who you're crushing on, like a rugby crush. Yeah. Or, um, is there any rugby people you're crushing on? Oh, Baz Ward. Oh, Colts one fly half oh, from Jeeps. Uh, that bloke. The answer. Sorry. So I've, I've got two rugby's. That's my first one. I, I can't wait. I've been saying it. I can't wait to see him play prem grade at Jeeps next year. I just think it's going to happen. I think it is. I, I think it. I th- like. Um, Hoffy, great bloke, great player, but fuck me, Bazzy's coming through, mate. It's Baz's time. It's Baz's time. Sorry, sorry, Hoffy. So you got to go. I don't know. He's no. been to enough clubs, so I'm sure someone ha- else will take him back. <laughs> <laughs> How good was Baz though? Yeah, Baz was amazing, man. Like, and he's so humble as well. Yeah, he and he's got the Herbert blood running through his veins, so you know he's going to be a fucking weapon. But he actually runs like a Herbert. Start, yeah, he does. I didn't well, even know that. Yeah, Herbie's his uncle. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, his mum's Herbie's sister or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, I'll get it yeah. out all. So he's going to get a start, no worries. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> <laughs> chiefs, 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 chiefs. Yeah, but um, so that's my number one. But my other one, I've been thinking about it all day, is um, that 13, Len Nicotel. I was going to say oh, that. You, you know why? He's amazing. Because a bloke whose name too. is Len that's succeeding in life is someone who's fucking, he's had everything thrown at him and he's just yeah. come out on top. <laughs> if you're succeeding at I, I said I said the exact same thing. I'm like, what a strange name. Yeah. Len. Lenny. Like, like, oh, Lenny. Len, yeah. Lenny and Carl. <laughs> <laughs> Len and Lenny. <laughs> thought his name was actually Len. 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 The only other Len, Len I've ever heard of is, it is Len. Lenny. It's from not Lenny, is it? Yeah. I think, oh, I don't know. But it's not, if, if I think it's Lenny Cattell, yeah. But the only one I've ever heard of is Lenny and Carl. From The Simpsons. Yeah, but it's still Lenny. Yeah, that's Len. right. Yeah, but like, I don't know. Well, you're yeah, going to call him Lenny. Yeah, you're strange for Lenny. Islander. Yeah. As well. yeah. So, I don't know. Good on him. And he had a fucking rip again. He's been oh. carving up. Mm. When, pa- when Paisami comes back, where's he going to go? I don't know. Bench. He left a bench, yeah. Yeah. You, you can't, yeah, fuck. It's good to see. Oh, yeah, it's good. We, we needed some backs. Yeah. We needed some backs to step how good, up. How good has it been the last yeah. couple of weeks? It's mm. awesome. One of the boys from work, South Africa, and haven't seen him in the, for oh. three weeks. Saw him yesterday. It's like, how good are those games on the weekend? It's like, <laughs> oh, I felt like a celebrity on the weekend. The amount of fucking text messages yeah. I got from people going, suck shit. Yeah. I was like, yeah. We, we, we got two South Africans at work too, mate. I tell you what, they're oh, very America. upset. Yeah. Very oh, upset. Understandably. Saturday, particularly with Saturday's a big day. Well, sports, sports bet was crazy, yeah. In the last two weeks, $4.25 the first week for the Wallabies and then yeah, $3.25 $3. at Suncorp. I had a multi Fuck, on the that weekend. That should be illegal. I had, a, be. I had a multi on the weekend. One horse, very elegant, was a dollar seventy. The second horse, dice roll, was twenty six into the Wallabies. Three seventy five was paying one hundred nine dollars. Yeah, very elegant. Put got up two dollars, ten bucks. Very elegant. Got up. Dice roll ran second by a nostril. <laughs> Sold one thousand dollars. I was like, you're fucking kidding me. <laughs> it wasn't that bad though because that, the second horse race was before the Wallabies, so yeah, like oh, it wasn't yeah, yeah. like that was the final leg. Yeah. Um. But after oh. the Wallabies won, I was like, fuck. You're so talk about final legs. Oh, did you hear one? <laughs> it's been a few weeks. But oh, I don't no. know if he's got, know if he's got like a mega multi going or try scores. Anytime yeah. try scores. I think it was like 10, 10 or 8. I'm pretty weeks. sure last time we did a podcast together, you had the exact same thing. Yeah, yeah. And you're oh, like, I've like, got, got mega multis. Yeah. Yeah. Like, he's got a million of it. It's like $2 yeah. Yeah. and it's like paying a million. Yeah, he's like, one day it's going to pay off. And he's like, if I ever get to it, I yeah. won't cash That's probably out. smart. Oh, yeah, I shouldn't have cashed out. It's, it's probably smart. It's like playing the lotto, but more fun. Like, yeah. you've probably got as much chance of winning the lotto, but at least you get to watch the footy and have fun. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I cashed out. Oh, at did like you? 500 bucks. Oh. Whereas it, the last two legs hit. And it was paying? And it was four, four and a half grand. Mm. Yeah, fuck, that's yeah. so depressing. Of how much? Of <laughs> how much? $2.50. <laughs> <laughs> that's insane. Four that grand. Actually Imagine insane. if you just put $10 in it. Oh, yeah, well, I got inside knowledge that, you know, Luciano wasn't going to score a try. He scored the first try in three minutes. No, we're, Fuck, we're so. in your head too. We're in your head too. We're like, Fuck Yeah, I had man. a look at the people like, don't cash out. I was like, oh, they're a bit. Yeah, a bit you would say off. that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fuck. Fuck. Yeah, that's so right. I said don't cash out, didn't I? I think I did. Yeah. There was, there was some bloke. There was some bloke um, on the NFL yesterday who had a um, multi with every result for the round, and there was like some massive upsets, and he put five bucks on, and he was going to win like seven hundred and fifty k or something if the um, Packers lost, <laughs> and it was like fourteen all at half time, and his cash out apparently was like two hundred fifty k, and I don't know if he took it or not, but. I would have taken it because Jared Goff is an absolute liability yeah. on a football the, field. The, the Packers won in the end, but it's still. Yeah. So imagine, imagine putting $5 on and cashing out for 250k. Yeah, we do oh. that every week now. Johnny does NFL, I do the rugby. Yeah. $5, it's like 
<laughs> and my, oh, what was it? My one was 19 legs of rugby. Yeah. And I got, I missed five out of all 19. Wow. Like, that's, one pretty of, one, that's pretty good. You're narrowing it down. Yeah. One of our mates has a, um, a punting page on Instagram. It's like more of a piss take than like an actual like form and stuff. Do they? But um, it's so funny. He posted this one last weekend. It's like a four leg multi. Another massive weekend of unit scooping. No other punting page actually has results like this. $8.78 multi with $4 on it. Just four X's. Miss them all. Miss them all. <laughs> Jesus. Next week. Thank you, yeah, uh, fuck. Oh, depressing. Any, anyone, do you have a, a rugby? <laughs> to us after um, I was going to say the tongue of thought. Oh, Silky. Yeah, he was no on. look. He didn't even need to do that either. Ridiculous. But I like that better. Like. Yeah. Just showing off. Arrogance, I love it. Yeah. He's so <laughs> quick. He, he, he is so quick for how he Fucking is. oath. He is so fucking silky smooth. It's yeah, ridiculous. fucking oath. It's ridiculous. Almost went the full lady as well. Yeah. What a freak. Yeah, true. Yeah. Yeah. yeah he's getting his for lately, actually. Yeah. It's good. This is one stage he was about, he's battling a bit, but he's just, you know, no more, no more fucking... Pig, pig on the spit and he's, he's oh, he good. still goes hard he just trains harder I reckon yeah, I think yeah. so. he's built different <laughs> I don't know mine how was going to be Len though mine was yeah. going to be Len yeah. he was convenient um, yeah that was um, that was pretty you've been really abrasive tonight <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry. should have just shared. excited to see me <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> oh. right, yeah, for, who's yeah your mine was Len as well yeah Len fuck, fuck yeah so well, like, well. Like, I never really thought much of him until the last couple of games. No. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. He hasn't really been able to step up, but look, he's been given the opportunity and he's just he's grabbing fucking it. grabbing both it. hands. Yeah, yeah, my brother, because my, my brother was in overseas, he's like, who the hell is Len? He could tell like two weeks ago. I was like, yeah. oh, he's sort of like Junior Pelisasa. Like, he's all right, but then now yeah. he's like, actually. You literally said that, yeah. Yeah. Fuck. And look at him now. He's Len Ikitel. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. And then Isaac's like my uh, my my dog old fucking Len. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <baby. laughs> oh, yeah. Man, he knows all, he knows everyone. Shout out to Isaac. Coward. Good on you. <laughs> Cool. Yeah, do you want to get into man. one of the segments that we usually do, um, yeah, Dickhead we'll, of the Week? Yeah, right. Do you Dick, have it up? Dickhead of the Week. So, so um, we've got a Facebook group now for the podcast, BBB Froth, Frothies, and every week we post in there. It's sort of like, almost like a kangaroo court type thing, yeah. like submit your Dickhead of the Week. And um, we pick one. We, <laughs> yeah, I did. I did, yeah. <laughs> this whole content thing, I stole the whole thing off yeah, yeah. 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 We'll just do it better. You know what else? I <laughs> actually woke up this morning with a really sore big toe. I don't know what's <laughs> 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 Oh, fuck. That's so funny. All right, so um, Sterling Farquhar is nominated to the Pittsburgh Steelers. He didn't give a reason, yeah, but the reason is he reason. fucked so many. Like, the Pittsburgh Steelers fuck a lot of multis this way. Yeah. They just fuck. They traditionally shit. Oh, no, no, they're traditionally, traditionally good. good. Yeah. And the Raiders, who are traditionally shit, fucking... Raiders are on really, the shit. Yeah, they're on. They're, they? They've been like... Do they have a draft system over there too? So like yeah. the shit teams eventually... Yeah, yeah. But the Raiders have just... I don't, they've draft weirdly, but also picked up random players, but it's all sort of coming together. But they just got the best kit, don't they? Yeah, they what? do. That's the thing. Raiders. It's like, no, finally, good. like this is something I've always found around Brisbane. You always see like... People wearing Raiders gear and stuff. It's like, I don't understand why you're wearing that NWA. because they fucking suck. It's, like yeah. so it's purely NWA. Yeah. That too. It's just culture. It's yeah. Just yeah. Culture, culture. So, yeah, get culture, Josh. Urban, urban culture. <laughs> Is it because he's black? <laughs> I go for the Patriots and. Oh. Yeah. No good. They, they don't like culture, traditions. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, here you go. Patriot way, mate. Um, yeah. All right. Yeah, then we got uh, the sheriff. Um, my local fucking celebrations for not allowing me to buy a four pack of these new sours they had on their shelf because someone hadn't priced them yet. Let me froth the fuck on with your newly stocked yummy goodies, please. <laughs> That's a good point. Why is, it, why is it on the shelf if I can't buy it? That is, I've had that happen before. Oh, it's not few. priced. What, and they say no. And they say yeah. no, sorry, we don't it's have a price It's not in the system yet. Like, well, fucking put it in the system. Yeah, yeah. Well, why, why is it on the shelf then, you fucking... Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'm going to get onto the consumer watchdog about it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sponsor of this week's podcast. Yeah. <laughs> consumer, consumer watchdog. watchdog. <laughs> Always looking out for the little man. Um, <laughs> all right. Zachy Hutchins, my boss for having a sook that I have taken some weekends off after not having a weekend off in over a year. Grow up, Kathy, and let the boys play. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you too, Kathy. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I'm pretty sure he works at a bottle so I wonder if it's the same bottle Could be. <laughs> it would make it's sense, would it? Things. It would make sense. I hate her. Uh, John wins ScoMo just because he's a bit of a fuckhead. <laughs> okay, <laughs> rough. This one I really like because there's a picture involved. I'll show you the picture after. 
Uh, Marcus Bontempelli for doing fuck all during the last three rounds of the AFL home and away season <laughs> and then letting Steve from Minecraft win the Brownlow on Sunday night. And he's accompanied uh, Steve from Minecraft. <laughs> <laughs> so I have no idea about AFL. Neither do I. Yeah, funny. No, he said, funny. cost me some money, um, but that's punting for you. And then uh, Eden Richards, Anthony Milford. Yeah, fucking oh. hell. Doesn't really need you know what's really bad? I, I felt bad for Milford <laughs> at the end of the Broncos season. Like, Me fuck, too. He, Dead like, yeah, I was like, mm. oh, that sucks. But now I'm like, fuck him. Mate, to be honest with you, like, yeah, I was going to say it before, but um, I, I didn't. But now, fuck it, it's perfect timing. About leagueies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ain't no wonder what they oh. get in oh. yeah. When we were on Sunday night, holy oh, shit. Man. Where were you? Oh, oh were there yeah. some players? Oh, yeah, I yeah, saw, yeah. I saw um, Jordan, Ricky. Jordan Ricky. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was fun. That was so some like, people yeah. taking so, it seriously. Some, some <laughs> of, yeah, they're like, head up, mate. I'm like, oh, that's <laughs> <a joke."> yeah. <laughs> no, no, some, it, some of the boys were like hilarious. Yeah, yeah. And then yeah. some of the boys were like, yeah, yeah. He could turn his head Yeah, he'd be a weapon. Yeah, but he was he was hilarious. Um, A few of the boys were like, really good. But then you see some of the boys like, mate. Fuck like no grow. wonder why yeah. you're fucking yeah. on the news. Yeah. Just a little bit of discussion. I can't believe people took that <laughs> seriously. It was like, oh, yeah. there's you saying that like when you're buying a girl drinks, drinks all night and yeah. pretty Ricky steals her or something. <laughs> yeah. It's just a video of Jordan Ricky <laughs> looking hot as fuck. <laughs> He's God is good. Just oh, yeah, but anyway, that was it. Was full on. Yeah, have to hear some of that off air. Bloody yeah, bloody Tony, um, Max Bentley, me on the froth one, always doing crook shit. Fair enough. Got to be crook. Uh, Matty Mack, the cockheads that refuse to get the vax then protest against the vax, which results in the whole of Victorian construction to shut down for two weeks. <laughs> Isn't that hilarious? Yeah. Grow the fuck up, take a mirror to bed and wake up to yourself and just get back. And imagine imagine having no construction for two weeks and having an earthquake yeah. that like broke buildings and shit. Oh, exactly. Isn't that just, that is... Poetic. Yeah, uh, may, maybe there is a guy. Cue the Benny Hill music. God just wants a girl. What about the best thing, how the CFMEU Adelos versus CFMEU members and it was just carnage. Mm. Yeah, yeah, it was just... Just boom, boom, boom. And then usually they're like, yeah, comrades, brethren, fucking yeah, look at them now. Time, look at them now. Yeah. <laughs> Hitting each other, each other. Each other. Fucking, oh, they're so bashing each other. Yeah. <laughs> it was ridiculous. TikTok has been going and great. Like, oh, I've, been yeah. at, I've been at work just like poking and going, yeah. what's yeah. going on with the CFMU? Bit of yeah. buddy, uh, bit of buddy. Yeah. One, one, of the boys saw, uh, one of the boys saw something like during the protests. <laughs> It was like, obviously they're protesting about not wanting to get vaxxed. Oh, but then in the background, there's the just like minute, a bunch of blokes like, yeah, doing yeah, bumps. Yeah. Doing bumps. <laughs> it's yeah. like, what are you fucking doing? Don't boys? want that like, shit in my body. Exactly. <laughs> Find it so funny. Oh, it's um, a so good day. Madison Hemi, I work at Albion Park and some freshly 18 year old started having a go at me for not making him a cocktail. Like, mate, have a look around. Does it look like the clientele here drink anything other than Great Northern? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or gold. Yeah. Or gold. Oh, um, we're going to have an event at the, um, at the, the dog park. Yeah, we're we're going to sponsor a race because yeah. you can pay to sponsor a race. And then get a photo with the winning dog. Oh, and shit. Yeah. Dog park. So, I was yeah. thinking, like, you take your dogs to the park. <laughs> 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 I'm like having a race in that area. <laughs> yeah, there's a, there's a mad one at Albion. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just alright Dong and Dong and eat the, dong and eat the dogs It's just the dog out It's always a place To have an event hey, Shane O'Arnold the, the, the man himself Took mm. us there for um, Back in like 2013 oh or 14 For a training session oh. It's got bland <laughs> so We had our Christmas lunch Last year 40 of the boys At the Brecky Creek We ended up there And it was fucked We were like Playing Doing like run it straight On the <laughs> lawn at the front There's like trots on It was so fucked I should have trots <sighs> Yeah. So they run, actually run if, they, if horses ran like a human <laughs> They can't run like you cunts yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What fucking the legs, quick the legs, It's like Because like you've got no bum you, yeah. Your legs actually can't go past your back And you're just oh. all front <laughs> yeah, So just fine. an observation <laughs> uh, Then we've got Seth McClellan Pacific Ale Puker For not calling the froth line Tony Chestnut Rogers The missus for trying to Curb my pokies allowance On boys night <laughs> <laughs> Wake up oh, to yourself yeah, yeah. Curb my pokies that allowance <laughs> That's so Have funny a slap. Um, The earthquake that spilt my coffee That's yeah. alright <laughs> Just Could have been worse mate Don't live in worse. Melbourne Maxi, There's a few dodgy Melbourne. awnings Around Brisbane mm. Particularly the old Grosvenor Where I'm mm. working oh. behind but we, that, you work at the Grovner. That's where I was after that Bucks party. No, we're working behind it. Oh, okay. So there's a, there's a couple of suspect awnings there. I'm like, this is not a structurally. A couple of suspect bikes around there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. mate. 
<laughs> I'd love like, to people watch it. Did, did I ever tell you? <laughs> tell you club? <laughs> yeah, we've had like watch. break-ins. There was, I walked in one night. There was this homeless guy under, yeah. the, under the plans <laughs> bench. Like it was fucking. I walked in. He goes, ah, like, "What are you doing?" He's like, <laughs> "Didn't you give him a jacket or something?" Yeah, yeah, I gave him a jacket and some bananas. It was Peter Siddle. Need some potassium. He's like, "Oh, thanks, mate." It's pretty cold out here. It wasn't black though, was it? Or you gave him bananas. <laughs> oh, there was no like roll ups around or anything else. Look like you wanted some bananas. <laughs> <laughs> no, fair enough. Just yeah. All righty. Well, my nomination for Dickhead of the Week would probably be going to. Fuck, I don't know. Either the misses with the pokey thing. Yeah, that was yeah. pretty funny. Or the bottle I think that does grind my gears. Yeah, yeah. that's fucked. You don't put something on a, on a yeah. shelf without. Oh no, that's not for sale. That's well, I'm going to say the miso with the pokey money Imagine because he should be able to do whatever the fuck yeah. he wants. Oh, not for sale. Yeah. Good, I'll just yeah. drink it then. Yeah. We got a mate like that. He's he's got oh. his own little money stash. That's for his gambling, like that he puts on sports yeah. and stuff. And he won. He put like ten bucks or something, or whatever, twenty bucks on the lotto, and he mm. won like one and a half grand. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, and then he's, he's I think he <laughs> celebrated in yeah. front of her, and then she's like, "Oh, cool." She let him keep two fifty of it. Oh, oh that's not how it works if i'm only allowed a certain no, amount of money yeah. then i'm allowed all the winnings i'm the one <laughs> risking telling it. us we're like bro you should have stood up to it. like yeah i did and i got 250 <laughs> <laughs> oh that's i sucks. actually had a uh i was a shout out to cookie <laughs> 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 I had a um, i had the mighty of four <laughs> i had a dickhead of the week nomination so i forgot to put it in there on um on friday night i went to a few work drinks and then as I said, I was helping mum out on Saturday at her place, so I stayed there. I got home and ordered fucking Supreme Leader. Just wanted some fried chicken and chips. Excited Do you like as. It there? I don't like it. I love it. Nice. So good. Anyway, it's fun fact. It's Noodle Box that is Supreme Leader. Anyway, is it? It is. Yeah. Fucking dogs. Um. So wow. I've I've Possibly. ordered. Mm. I've ordered, and it's like fifty minutes away. And I was like, "Fuck me! I've got to wait fifty minutes." This stage, I'm like half blind on the couch, like falling asleep. 50 minutes finally comes. I set an alarm on my phone. My alarm goes off and it had been delivered like two minutes ago. I was like, beautiful. Oh. <laughs> Went out. I've woken it's up at, before. It's, it's at the front. Back, isn't oh, it? yeah. <laughs> this is on the front steps. Like, fuck yeah. Picked it up, took it inside, bottle of water. I got Supreme li- uh, chicken pack, like six pieces of chicken chips and um, like a sriracha mayo. Took it into bed, opened it up and there's a bottle of water, sriracha mayo and then just a bowl of fried rice. <laughs> I just like, waited 50 minutes and paid $35 for a bowl of Did fried rice. Up? Fucking no. <laughs> Get your money back. Hey? Yeah, I got my money back. But I waited 50 minutes Mate. for fucking fried chicken and then fried rice rolled up. Like seriously, I fucking... Okay, okay. One time when I ordered Uber Eats, I was ordering... I can't even remember what it was. I think it might have been the kebab shop <clears throat> two up from this place. Mm. Anyway, I get, the, I get the Uber Eats, open it up and it's... In this Indian food that is from this particular uh, place. You mustn't have listened to our last podcast because you told that story <laughs> on our last collab podcast. Do I? I think so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sounding familiar. Uh, and I think Classy talked about I was going to let it go. The, the best Indian ever. Uh, the best Indian ever. Anyway, what was your story? I can't yeah, remember. Don't worry about it. Oh. <laughs> it was, anyway, it's a suspect place. It's, got an, it's an Indian place with a, an Italian guy on the front. <laughs> And, and it's, it's basically the wateriest, worst Italian, and I'm like, so I mean, is it Indian, uh, Indian, Italian? sorry, Indian, <laughs> the worst Indian, and I'm like, I, Indian and I've Italian. got it, I've got it. I'm pretty sure I didn't tell the story. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no is this no, the guy no. waiting out the front as well? No, no, that's no, another no. one. That's no, another no. one. Fuck. <laughs> no, but you've had some no, shocking. No, no. Well, thank God, because this is a great story. <laughs> so. <laughs> anyway, I opened it up. It looks suspect as I thought. Yeah, it would. And I'm like, fuck, I'm just too hungry. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a go. I'm gonna give a roll, roll of the dice. I'm gonna have it. Just smashed it. Fucking half an hour later, no joke. Oh, <laughs> oh man, it was just it was a long night. It was a long night, and I'm like, fuck, I knew yeah, it. I that's knew all right. It. I got my money back though. Yeah, yeah, that's good. That's good. <laughs> hey, please <laughs> refund me. I'm pissing out my ass. <laughs> <laughs> so watery too. You can tell it's gonna be like, you know, it's not good Indian when you're looking at it you're like that. Oh. It's just like they just slapped it together. <laughs> fuck that. Oh. Pack lab. Oh mm. yeah. Uh, so we've got pack lab. Uh, mm. It's like an idea. <laughs> Try and bring ideas because we we're here at PF mm. Lady Club. We were all about ideas. Bring in, uh, <laughs> yeah. I think we did this last Get time too. Quick. We had a some sort Pack of idea. Up, yeah. I can't remember. I what forgot it was, what it was, but yeah, Toby's been good with his ideas. Yeah, but he's got. We'll try. <laughs> he's got to try <laughs> to to think of it. some ideas. You guys got any apps or any inventions I've got an that app. the world needs? I've got an Talk app. to me. We did um, do this last time. So when you go to a club, 
<laughs> you fucking <laughs> you dickheads. <laughs> I was t- telling everyone my idea. No, no, it's my idea. So my idea. <laughs> oh. so, an idea of when you go to a club. It's like Tinder. It's basically Tinder, but you go to the club <laughs> and the club you're at, you can either swipe right or left at so the people are actually sitting yeah, there doing beers. Right. Yeah, so that's so my idea. So you know idea. who's keen and who's Fun not. Yeah, who's keen and who's not. So it's just narrows like, it down a bit. Sort of like a traffic light party, but... Yeah. So, oh, so what's your idea, man? <laughs> oh, I'm glad you're listening. I'm glad you're listening. Uh, oh, mate. Oh, oh, it's just because, like, as soon as you said the, the so run many times, I'm like, yes. so many times you go in and you're looking around trying to catch that eye, yeah, oh, yeah, like, yeah. see if anyone's keen. Yeah. But then sometimes you're like, oh, sometimes you're like, um, have a go. leave it a little bit too late, and then you finally go up, and then she's like, oh, I was waiting for you all day to come over. <sighs> And uh, you know you could well, save yourself some yeah. time. Yeah, yeah exactly. That's such a good idea. I was yeah, telling okay, the boys yeah. on the weekend; they all agreed. It you can almost so base good. a whole club around that, right? Yeah, like it's not <laughs> an app; it's, it's your club. Oh, it's true. like you come to this club. Tinder party. Yeah. Because then I suppose why like would you, you, no, like, no, no, you, you, you go to the club if you didn't want to pick up? Then yeah, exactly. I'm at the Tinder club. I'm just here. Yeah, fucked up. Yeah. So but like you, no, but if you do, check into the, the like, check into the location, and then obviously just boom, like the COVID app, there. like it's a QR code basically. on the door. Boom, this is where yep. I'm at. Yep. yep, and then basically pop up, and then the so then what? Are, everyone's just sitting on their phone swiping, and then much. when Could they be. see a green, they're looking around like yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> and even like when you start chatting to someone, you've matched. You can start chatting, and then obviously oh. No, not interested you just unmatch so then they get yeah. notifications yeah, to okay. leave them alone so so, so if you're match with, if you're matched with someone that you'll both go on red so Fuck then off. i yeah, can't yeah, match with her yeah. Yeah. yeah okay that's awesome yeah yeah it's a good idea for me hey <laughs> <laughs> let's you roll know. it yeah if you're an app developer get in touch <laughs> are you stuck? I, knew, I knew he was thinking that too <laughs> he's been holding on to it for a few days <laughs> that's a good power i'm sure i put more thought into this um I, I was, the thing I thought of was I actually had this idea years ago and I thought that I was the only one that would have this idea but then realised <laughs> that if I'm having this most other piss drinkers are probably having this exact same discussion with their mates and their mates are also probably pumping them up going like fuck yeah do it dude delivery alcohol yeah I was like man I mean, if I can do years. delivery alcohol I'm gonna hit the gold mine straight on this Johnny Brings yeah, yeah Jimmy then Brings, Johnny Brings Jimmy Brings, <laughs> Jimmy Brings Johnny Brings no problem <laughs> how long has that been around I thought a while a while now for oh, two I years maybe but I was, like, so what does he do stockpile fucking alcohol he must do but we'll I reckon he's like got a, a warehouse yeah, or something yeah, yeah, yeah. because like it's pretty good delivers them after the bottle shop's closed yeah yeah yeah, we were saying know. a good one would be just to ride around on a bike and apparently there's a bloke somewhere in Europe I saw a photo of someone I work with who's like all oh, fucked up and there's this guy called the Mojito Man and he's like this Sudanese dude that rides around on a push bike with like homemade bubble tea things that are just the strongest mojitos ever oh yeah there's heaps and, of them and he rides around like oh, he rides around sick. parks <laughs> yeah rides yeah, around parks drink. and flicks it, flings it like imagine if we did that at New Farm Pass <laughs> yeah. hey I'm yeah. the Mojito Man take my yeah. Mojito yeah, yeah, it's not a bad idea but, yeah, but awesome. the thing that alcohol regulations here are a bit harder aren't they yeah but you just yeah yeah if you're on a push bike, can't yeah, but if you're on it. an it's app, it's not legal in like what they're doing over there. Yeah, like when you go to the Eiffel Tower, they're like yeah, everywhere. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if they're all Sydney's, but they're Sydney's. <laughs> that's pretty uh, general. Yeah, that's pretty. <laughs> <nice>. <laughs> I'll be honest. Though. I just knew this one dude, and I, the guys with that would be a great app. It'd be like uh, look New Farm Park thing, but like Uber because Uber was legal when it came over here as yeah, well. Yeah. And then you just put up that you need a drink, and then just yeah. some random like bloke comes out of bar. nowhere, and it's just. He's an angel Because it's already, it's already licensed right He's your drink yeah. motherfucker <laughs> <laughs> Oh you speak Sudanese nice. <laughs> So talented friend <laughs> Oh awesome um, Alright I was going to say I like this one that Sione sent through um, After a few regrettable Mad Monday stories Coming out of rugby league What is one regrettable bender That you guys have gone on Mm. Well, particularly <laughs> well, Ryan, where does it start? Yeah, <laughs> where does it start? It is a long <laughs> plethora of um, but one particular one is um, I ended up I was on Boxing Day with my family, and and then uh, one of the boys ended uh. up being down the road. Um, oh no, that no, wasn't that one. That's <laughs> not, that's not, I think. Um, anyway, one of the boys ended up being down the road, so I thought I'd go see him, you know, and, and I went had and saw him. Had a few him. light beers. Yeah, had a few. I was, I was already pretty pole by the time I went and saw him, and then, um, and by the time I saw him, you know, he got the, he even lifted the spirits higher. I don't know how. Um, but, you know, it was good, and then before you knew it, it was one o'clock the next day. Oh. Um, <laughs> and, and then when I drew the line, was, we left this one, 
the one bender party to to go to this other one and it was in the back of Maruchi door and it was sus as fuck. Uh, and then like I walk in and everything sort of like blacked out. I'm like, yeah, that's me. I'm done. I'm, so yeah. out. I'm out of here. Then you go, home Nate to my family. <laughs> <laughs> it was so fucked. <laughs> Nate, help me. Said, Nate, come back me out, please. <laughs> I, um, I did a this um, DJ competition ages ago <clears throat> with one of our mates, Rory. And um, it was like, you enter and if you got in, you <coughs> had like nine weeks of training or whatever it was, like once a week for one hour. And um, then like an event at the end and I had gone away for uni games. It was my second tour, the first one. It was like so fun. But you're like the grom on the first one. You have to do like the first night for the grom's always horrible and you have to like fill up everyone's water bottles and do all the annoying shit. So the training was on the day after the first night of my second tour and I was like, there's no way I'm missing the first night because like I sat through all that torture last year. Like I want to be there this year to give it to someone else. else. Yeah. Yeah. So I got there and just like, so excited I drove And we pulled After a carton of lights Yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> It was at Marucci door And um, And uh, We stopped on Like 10 minutes away And um, Got beers And like I was that keen we, did, we used to do court Every night And it was pretty hectic Like someone would be the scribe And you'd text the scribe All day with fines And credits for people oh, That's so good And we used to mix We used to put um, In the sink Fines and uh, credits Credits yeah, are good Credits one. are good So you hand it out So yeah. in the sink We'd go um, a, One goon sack A litre of vodka And orange juice And yeah. you're not allowed To leave court Until that's finished and Then we'd also have Another litre of vodka And a litre of Jaeger Which was like The um, fines and credits So the idea is like You sip on the goon And then do whatever And yeah. going into I was like Okay I just you have to pay stuff because court every night is like you rock up sober and you leave like shit face two hours later but i was just so pumped literally got out of the bottle like in the car i'm driving just cracked a gold like drinking two weeks in a row <laughs> uh, it on the mic. <laughs> <laughs> and um we pull up and the car park's like packed as fuck and our team used to always get in trouble like, the year before two boys got sent home and blah 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 and there's the two like coordinators there. I was like, oh fuck. And I've got a beer in my hand driving. I was like, oh fuck, this is not a good look. Back in, just reverse my car into someone else's car. Like off to a bad side. Anyway, got inside, <laughs> just hammering piss. And it got to court. Like first night is full kit wanker. So I played soccer. You had long socks, soccer shorts and your jersey on. Yeah. Can't even remember like the start of court. Woke up in the morning and be like, holy fuck. I have to drive back to Brisbane to go to this fucking dj thing yeah had split my eyebrow covered in like my own blood phone <laughs> phone and wallet in my pockets like oh, face perfect. down <clears throat> drawing all over my legs because i passed out like dicks and shit everywhere i drove from Richard, I took a bull trial, I was like, and i was like oh my god i've got to stop like i'm so fucked and i pulled into the kabucha kfc got a feed and then just laid down in my back seat and i woke up like six hours later and missed the fucking dj thing it was so oh. bad you get in trouble Oh, sort of. They're like, oh, so many people entered this, and you fucking didn't even show up. But Rory, our mate, was there, so I was like, he's like, oh, Darcy's sick, and then I just drove back. And then, of course, the the second you night, woke up in a KFC yeah, yeah. And, and then the second night, I, I was getting back to court. I was like, I'm just gonna absolutely get shredded here because I was the one that fucking, you know, was the biggest fuckwit last night. And it's actually, did, when I got what close, did you do wrong? Did you do anything wrong? Were you sweet? Oh no, no, I got hammered just yeah. for like being a pest and yeah, yeah. yeah and um. That's actually the first night I had beers with Sterling. I sort of like knew him, Sterling from the cast. I sort of knew him. We had mutual friends. And then that night, me and him drank till like 5 a.m. We're swimming in the pool of this like resort we're in naked. Yeah. And um, it's like our whole, our whole... Just a couple yeah, of lads on lads. Yeah, our whole uni staying there. And then um, I woke up on... The funniest thing was my, punish, him, my punishment. Yeah, my punishment for being dick of the day was three warm tun cans. I had to drink oh. them in court. And I was sitting on the couch in Sterling's room and I just putting him in feeding him down the back of the couch so I didn't want to drink him and me and Stella got back there and the summer's coming up he's, oh, he's like just sleep here and we undid the couch and there was three warm tun cans and we drank him <laughs> warm tun <laughs> and then the next day I did the haka for the, before the first game. Wow, that like is pro- culturally was, inappropriate yeah. culture dog yeah um, I don't know I came to a, a bit of a existential crisis at the end of this I wouldn't call it a continuous bender but it was an every weekend thing for probably about a month and a half I would just smash a bottle of vodka for praise and then just like <laughs> yeah. that was good. Yeah. oh Saturday night we didn't go out for any occasion it's not like oh Clutzy's birthday it's like Saturday night we go in the valley yep I'll bring the bottle of vodka to praise and yeah it was during footy season it was uh, 20 I think it's when we won the 6th grade grand final in 2018 when you guys won the prems as well oh yeah yeah, it was like a couple of weeks after all that. I was like, I'm having a bottle of vodka for praise and I'm feeling Do you sweet. get black out? I'll black out if I just 100%. drink straight I used, I used to black out. Oh, yeah, I, I'm back to blacking out now. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck, I'm back to blacking out now. I just go, oh, shit. Yeah, but 
Probably um. I gotta start on beers. I gotta yeah, start on beers no. or like something the, soft. But probably the worst. But like the bender itself was awesome. But it was just like the whole a culmination of days worth of things coming to a shit ending was um my first falls festival and it so that's over New Year's down in Byron and it's hot as fuck. Oh, I can and imagine. I was staying with oh. Like, the thing that I hate the most about this is that, uh, so I drove our mate Eden down because he didn't have his license, didn't get it for ages. Only just got it. And then he also didn't have a tent or anything. So I was like, <laughs> all right, yeah, you can crash with me. He fucking snored like no tomorrow <laughs> oh, the whole time. He does but because too. I knew I had to drive, I didn't get as fucked up as I yeah. thought I would. Um, I was like, fuck, I've got to get up at like 6, 7 a.m. to actually get out of here at a good time so I'm not yeah. stuck in here. And um, that night, he was just snoring like no tomorrow and I couldn't get to sleep. And then finally, he sort of stopped for a little bit and I was like, this is my window. Just as I'm getting to sleep, the guys who are in the tent next to us, um, my mate Ferry, I just heard this tent fucking open up and I was like, fuck. And then he was just vomiting for like an hour and a half, two hours straight. Eden starts snoring again. And I'm like, this is so fucked up. Next morning, I wake up and I'm just like, this is, this is fucked. I feel so shit. Packed all that shit up, got out of there as quick as possible, started driving back and I took one wrong turn. I should have taken a right instead of a left to get back onto the highway. And I was like, oh, we'll just take the scenic way. Like I've been this way coming back from New South Wales before. Start going along. It's going all good. And Eden's like, oh, I sort of feel a little crook. Are we all right if we, I'll just... You know, we pull over and I was like, yeah, yeah. So I pulled over near this river. He's just fucking vomiting up blue Powerade everywhere. <laughs> we then get back onto the highway and he's just like, oh, I'm really not in a good way, hey. So then we took another stop just before the border <laughs> and he's fucking puking everywhere. And at this point I'm like, oh, this is funny. I was like taking selfies with him, throwing up out the car and all yeah. this sort of shit. But then I started feeling a little bit scat as well. <laughs> like real, I started f feeling pretty crook. <laughs> and so I'm driving back and I remember he was asleep and my only thing was just fucking stay away, get back to his place, then go home and you're all sweet. Yeah. And then all of a sudden he just fuck and just like reaches into the back, just grabs his, like a bag. It was a plastic bag. No, and wasn't he's just, it a sleeping bag? No, nah, this is a different time uh, because yeah. they can't, can't <laughs> handle his piss. Yeah. And he's just fucking projectile vomited all through oh, it fuck. and he's just like oh, i'm really not in a good way and he's like called up his dad he's like oh, i'm really not good can you get some hydrolyte more and i was like this is so fucked i'm there like almost shitting myself because i've got like <laughs> fucking hectic gastro coming on and i'm coming down <laughs> back into the city keep it i had to get to the gap and then unload his stuff and get back to ashgrove I was, just fucking get it out, yeah. I was like fucking hell like i'm just driving along manically and then just get back literally like i was like dude like i'm not trying to be a dick but get the fuck out of my car like here's your shit i was like his dad's there he's like how you going i was like i'm really fucking shit bernie i gotta get home <laughs> <laughs> bernie how good that yeah bernie. Name, bernie and then yeah got home and i was just like so violently ill like as soon as i got in the door mum's like hey how you going like, <laughs> spread to the toilet yakking everywhere and then i'm pretty sure like every like, there's like 20 of us staying at the one spot for this one and everyone got some yeah. form of like gastro or something started. it was so fucked this same bloke a year before at splendor um came up to me when he was packing up doesn't have his license has to get a lift everywhere comes up and goes um do you know how to get keys out of a locked car and i was like well, no, he, this, no, this is after that. Oh, well, after it, whatever. So this, this just shows how much of a fucking serial pest this and then, fucker is. So <laughs> he's gone to load his shit into his mate's car, locked the keys in the car, and they just sit there for like five and a half hours while his, oh. brother, his brother drove the spare down. Bro, the Brisbane. best was oh. is that they tried to get... Yeah, none of terrible went to it. That's yeah. what I said. It, but they but weren't the, sure it was in there. I think that was the problem. <laughs> the thing was, so the guy that drove, the guy, the guy whose keys got locked in the car, the night before, Darcy fucked up his oh, knee. Yeah, I jumped on him on the amphitheater and his knees went... And he like stuck... Oh, I broke his leg. He was, was just, going to yeah, the Maldives. Um, the, the next day. So he had like and an 11 p.m. flight. laying in the sun next to his car waiting five hours for his keys to come back. Because they called up someone to cut like a car smith to come and like unlock the car. But couldn't. because of his um, like type of something. car, yeah, they couldn't Volkswagen. unlock it. Yeah. So then, yeah, his brother drove two and a half hours down. And then Eden got in the car and vomited in the car on the way home. Yeah. All over the front. <laughs> If we hate Eden. Yeah. Why, He's Eden? He's been getting some airtime on the podcast the last few weeks. Yeah. yeah. Well, he, not, not good airtime either. Yeah. And he doesn't shout either, does he? No. Nah. 
Oh, <laughs> fucking, I could shoot a strawberry seed. <laughs> <Don't know. laughs> Never shattered in his life. What about you, Sonny? Um, I've had heaps, but <laughs> one of the ones that stand out, he wasn't like... You've been uh, a good observer for many years. Yeah, well, it went a bit crazy when I was overseas. And, yeah. uh, this was like the first few weeks I was Tiger. there. Have you guys seen the Tiger yet? No. He's <laughs> <laughs> seen his alter ego. On <laughs> it's the favourite. Yeah. It's my favourite. Yeah, you so it was the first few weeks yeah. overseas, and uh, so I went hard on the piss so I can make some friends with my teammates. Yeah. And uh, after, after one of our games... Um, they were like, oh, there's a local festival down down the road. And you want to come with me? I was like, oh, yeah, sweet, sweet. Um, you know, wouldn't mind checking out the local talent. So uh, <laughs> went there. was there for a while. And like in Holland, there's no Islanders. So yeah. like yeah. everyone's looking you at you. Yeah, the chicks like, are like, what the fuck yeah, is this like, guy? Yeah, like come up yeah. to you. Oh, you. You look a bit young. <laughs> and then I locked eyes with this one bird. She was, she was nice. Mm. And uh, after a few Heinekens, I, I finally went over, started dancing. And uh, yeah, we hooked up a bit, and then like, cause we I lived near where the festival was. Mm. I was like, oh, let's go back to mine and bake some cakes or something, <laughs> like, <laughs> like as you do at night. And um, as we were leaving the festival, we were just chatting, um, <laughs> chatting real cute, holding hands and stuff. And I was like, oh, so what do you do? She, she goes, uh, oh, well, I study. I was like, oh yeah, sweet. Um, like, what are you studying? Uh, what are you majoring on in at, u- at uni or something? She's like, oh no, high school. And then I was, I was like, wait, wait what? <laughs> and then she, she, I didn't realize in Holland, like at festivals, like yeah, she'd be it's 16 like sixteen or and yeah. older. She was seventeen. She's still in high school. And uh, How yeah, old so were you? I was like, oh yeah, thirty. <laughs> So yeah, we we didn't go back to mine. We just went back to the festival and uh, had to find another friend. <laughs> that is red hot. Jesus. So Christ. I regret it. So, Sioni, is a pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just Accidentally, <laughs> mate. <laughs> so I feel like I right, feel like, right, right, uh, uh, Kelly. I feel like <laughs> I'm the victim. Yeah, true. Like, yeah, fuck she yeah. She says she was 16. Yeah, hundred yeah, percent. You're, you're the victim. You'd fit into my uh, you'd fit into my fantasy football team. Uh, the, the name of my NFL fantasy football team this year is the Kittle Fiddlers. Oh, <laughs> wow! Yeah. Red flags named everywhere. after named after I'm Mr. Glad, Kittle. I'm glad we said at the start that um, we we can't be cancelled this episode. We can't. Yeah. People can't do it now, no matter yeah, what we say. Exactly. So I'm glad we did. Yeah. <laughs> I walked it back to the festival. <laughs> yeah, it's very good luck in school. Yeah. Study hard. Yeah. Stay cool. <laughs> is, there, is there anything else you want to cover off, or should we get into our fucking rough line? No, get the rough, yeah, line, the rough line. Hey, you fucking going? Oh yeah, man. Fucking cut and dry dribbler here, boys. Uh, <laughs> fuck. Nah. Brothers, fucking fifteen. Uh, Brothers, fifteen. Going a bit too fucking hard on the sauce. <laughs> Got to try and fucking play board games with the cunt. Currently in Canberra, fucking lockdown. Anyway, got a bit of a fucking question for you. Um, oh, no. So, let's just say you woke up, yeah? You had your fucking cock in your mother, in your ass, in your father. We got this the Would other you day. Push back or push forward to get out? <laughs> push forward. <laughs> I would fucking go back and forth, boys. That's one of the best ones I've heard. Oh, oh my god, god. that is an incredible way to start. <laughs> Holy fuck. I think we just we don't even need to fucking answer the question. That was insane. Oh, I'm going forward. Oh, you, wow. <laughs> you don't have back to answer it. Yeah, I'm going forward. We'll just jump, jump forward and back, boys. This could be good. <laughs> well, you just like jump up in the air like a scared cat. Like <laughs> Saturday. This is two a.m. Saturday. It's a good one. Hi, anyways, uh, Max. We Maxi from Melbourne. He's gonna call me Maxi forever. <laughs> It's, uh, yeah, you can call me jocks if you like, or iPads, you can, I'll fucking tell the story later. <laughs> Heaps of stories come from that, but yeah. <laughs> it's fucking Friday, and God knows what time, I've had a few fucking new gym beams from the bottle, but uh, yeah, fucking, uh, just playing the Xbox 360. 360? This one is fucking Gorillas. Gorillas yeah. pretty fucking good, but, um... Yeah, love you, love the potty. <laughs> <laughs> this week, 
pretty far and funny. <laughs> Show it to me, partner. He, he thought it was pretty far and funny. <laughs> 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 oh, if I can look at what number that was. Oh, it was Saturday at 2am, so it was that one, yeah. Fucking hell. That's My favourite is when there's like a big poise, it's like... Uh, love the potty. Uh, <laughs> the Thanks, Fuck. boys. What do I say here? People obviously don't plan what they're going to say. Uh, Saturday at 6.23 a.m. Who is, but what I was saying was that your Norman, you get your Norman Creek, you get Norman Creek, fuck me dead, bro. Norman Creek, you hear about it, you never talk about it again. You go once in a while, though, once you come through here, cunt, you never talk about it again, cunt. Norman Creek, cunt, so that's fucked you, cunt. Norman Creek, you come through, you hear about it, you never talk about it again. That's what I've got to say. Fuck you, bastard. Bloody bastard, you fucking dog. <laughs> Norman Creek come through, never talk about it again. That's what I say. That's the weirdest one That's I've ever heard. That's all I've got to say. That's all I've got to say. <laughs> <laughs> Quarter past three a.m. <laughs> How geared up is that, boy? Who's up? My God. That's so good. Norman Creek, don't go there, boys. Yeah. Try through it. Talk about it. Don't talk about it. <laughs> There's nothing to say. There's nothing to say. There's nothing to say. Mm, good evening, gentlemen. Oh. Flying Scotchman here. This bike's from Scotland. Scotch from Scotland. Scotchman. <laughs> Scotchman. As in the beautiful product we produce yeah. in Scotland. Scotch. Flying Scotchman. Yeah. Um, oh, it's the accent. Yeah. I'm answering the question from last uh, this week's podcast. Absolutely fucking lovely podcast, by the way. <laughs> Much respect. <laughs> um, we don't have Bundy at all. Yeah. The run of choice is Captain Morgan's. Nice. Yeah. Bit nice. of a cardio. I had a bit of a cardio today, but usually. The choice of rum. I think we asked that last week. What the, what the Much love and yeah, fuck up cunts. <laughs> <laughs> that bloke had to put like load money onto a Skype account to be able to call us. Really? Yeah. 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 Fucking legend. legend. Fucking crazy. What a fucking yeah. legend. I'd love for him to get some Bundy. Oh, yeah. We should send him a gift. Yeah. That'd be awesome. <laughs> hey boys, it's the fucking Ipswich dribbler here. Oh yes. Uh, just fucking yeah. call in to say. Some cunt just got knocked the fuck out of fucking out west. <laughs> Look, I'm not going to lie to you. He's going to hospital. I don't think he'll fucking recover. I'm not going to lie. Just um, play on. Up the jeeps. Give him heaps. Don't piss the sheets. Uh, Don't piss the sheets. Get a bit of poon tang, eh, boys? Out <laughs> <laughs> a boy, you've switched to like, Yeah, um, the thing now is uh, our little catchphrase is don't piss your sheets and give them heaps. <laughs> Don't piss your sheets. Oh, this dude's got three, so I'll just listen to the first one. Unless it's Unless golden. It's, it could be Bundy. Oh, oh no, he didn't yeah. call this one. G'day, gentlemen. Just wrapped up at the Fox after the Churchy Rugby lunch, and I am feeling absolutely yeah, fucking cat pit. Nuts. No, anyway, I feel like I'm. Bundy dribbler. Um. I don't even know what I was trying to say then. Anyway, over and out. G'day. <laughs> I, I think we just leave it at that. <laughs> That's some crackers. Who was that fucking one before? That was so good. That was great. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> Saturday, 5 5.44pm. Oh, oh, PM. Okay. Jeez, did you think, baby? Go to Wallabies! <laughs> 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 How good is that? <laughs> Simple, I mean, effective. I am rock hard. To the point. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we like. 12.51, Sunday morning, AM. Hey, boys, you fucking waggle Mitchell and dog kicker here. <laughs> um, just wondering what the fuck you do. You lose your fucking car key. <laughs> fuck me. Shouldn't be driving. Just fucking <laughs> go for an eye over the old... Story Bridge, <laughs> caught a big stack, came in my top pocket, land cruise, and away we go. No <laughs> more fucking cage. <laughs> Curious. <laughs> Message me that. <laughs> 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 I'm curious. Can you please let us know if you yeah. found, found your keys? Your keys? Yeah, it went over a stack. Fell out of your top pocket. <laughs> on the story bridge, they're probably in the river somewhere. Oh, they're gone. You they're definitely gone. Can't, don't keep keys in your top pocket, though. No, you yeah, keep them in your side silly, pocket. Or your back pocket. Thing. You're asking for a bad oh, thing. Back, not even back pocket. How do you sit down? Mm. All right, I don't know what's going on, but last time I called, I swear to God, this, this, this prof line... It, it rang once and it headed straight to the um, straight to the fucking straight to the fucking voicemail. But that's how anyway, we got there. <laughs> that's what it's supposed to be. Yeah. This is the tequila terrorist right here. Tequila from terrorist Tazzy. from Tassie. Love, love that. The TTT <laughs> triple T. Anyway, I was gonna, fuck yeah! Great idea for you. Listening. Let's have a uh, frother of the week. The most donated person, the, the person that donates the most, 
is the biggest name of the week, all right? <laughs> Come on. Come on. You you wouldn't do that. It'd be rude not to. What do you mean by donut? Like donut yeah, you would have. I don't know, because we don't have nothing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> biggest battle. I love you, yeah. Triple T. Yeah. I, I could do. Oh, we ter- could do ter- a frother ter- of the week, like best do. post in the group or yeah. something. Or best, best, call, best call. The tequila terrorist from Tassie. <laughs> Come on, Ryan. <laughs> Tassie tequila. I'm sure, terrorist. you've heard of it before. This is a double. So if your first one sucks, and get out, BBB and uh, listeners at home. It's the uh, Bolter Brew here. Uh, just thought I'd call in after having a few uh, Bolter XBAs, of course, and uh, nice. whoa, a few uh, hard seltzers, uh, just because they are the uh, guilty pleasure drink and. Uh, just wondering, fellas, what's your uh, go-to guilty pleasure drink? You know, something you shouldn't be drinking, but, you know, you do every now and then. Uh, anyway, boys, uh, change in your cheeks and uh, give them heads. Love your work, boys. Keep it up. And, uh, <coughs> oh, fuck. Sorry, I cut the end off. That was um, good. We need to listen to the second one, I think. That was good. He might have some insightful questions, though. Okay. Um, you guys think while I play the second Fokker one? Fokker Cruises is Cruises. why. Yeah, it's Definitely my guilty pleasure. For a fire truck. Celts is not bad at all. Yeah, g'day, Triple B blokes and uh, listeners at home. It's uh, formerly known as Bolter Brute, now known as uh, Seltzer Sucker here. <laughs> uh, here in uh, Sydney, New South Wales, inside the old uh, lockdown Um I've acquired some uh, Jedi Juice, formerly known as uh, J-Juice, but now known as J-Juice, also known as uh, Jedi Juice. Um, it's given me some good drunk confidence to say thanks, boys, for the potty. Appreciate your work. Um, also, thanks. Just just keep it going, boys. <laughs> Love your work. Just keep it fucking coming every oh, week. The Jedi yeah, Juice is this fucking gay little lockdown shit fucking so shit. No homophobia. Hum- no hum- it's just an expression to say, fuck lockdown. <coughs> Can't wait for freedom to go in the pubs. Um, also, where the fuck's in my shirts, cunts? I just want my fucking <laughs> oh, BBB yeah. shirt. Love the cooked bar shirt on sale. Love it. Keep it coming. Buy your merch now. Cunts, listen at home. <laughs> love you, boys. Love you, boys. Big up, Clutchy. Also, love you, Chat Townsend. Let's get a BBB great. Chat Townsend. Love it, boys. Anyway. Guilty pleasure oh, drinks, boys. If you haven't answered it already, let's let's hear it again. Love um, you, boys. That's Mwah. so funny. This dude's shirt arrived oh, on like homo. No homophobia. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, boys. He sent a message through on Monday, and he's he's like, "Oh, my shirt just arrived, and I definitely shirt called up on the weekend and gave you a spray for not fucking over you." Yeah, before I cut my hair off, I look like Chad Townsend. I play like him too. Shit, oh, shit. shit. No, you look like fuck like, off. Can't I know you who you fucking NRL look games like. You look like you look like a kid out of um. Oh, he would have played more, but. <laughs> 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 oh yeah, guilty pleasure drinks. Anyway. Just Stanley. cruises. I yeah, like seltzers as well. Are so good. Yeah, that's all I drink. I'm gonna anyways. find that. Hey, I'm um, always um, Jim P. Hammy here. This <laughs> big day at the race is you know fucking pump my little heart out. <laughs> Lean up and down, you know. But um, yeah, it's been a good day overall. I had a few gold pens and fucking. Just ringing up to say good day, about to go to the jockey club and fucking get on the pokies and just fucking yeah. slap away everything I've got. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, if you're paid next week, so it doesn't matter. So, <laughs> in your cheek, up the jeep, fuck the moose, the dolphin, <laughs> and out the hammers. Put the hammers, up the hammers. Up the hammers. Oh, no one likes this dolphin. Oh, wow. wow. Fuck, is the diversity at the moment. Yeah, it's, it's been crunchy. amazing, Jesus boys. Christ. Uh... Saturday. This person called fucking four times. That's def- extreme. Yeah. I'm picking Harry Meeker. Yeah, me too. Falling around his mouth, Hunter. Oh, okay. Well, g'day, boys. This is the uh, Victorian dribbler back again. I know it's been a long hiatus. Uh, uh, from now on, I would like to go uh-huh. as uh, Don Pablo. Don Pablo. Uh, Welcome. I'm a fucking weapon. That's <laughs> <laughs> fuck. Um, okay, boys. I have a question for you. So, this is, okay, this is a long story. My one of my friends' mates had sex with a gay bloke, and he then considered himself less gay than everyone else because he had that gay experience with other gay dudes. What are your thoughts on that? Because like, would you would you think that you're a, a less gay person because you've not had that experience, or would you actually no? This is fuck. I don't want to say this. Goodbye. <laughs> He's not finished though. It goes like another fucking 30 seconds. Maybe, I reckon he's maybe just forgot to hang yeah. up. We'll just listen to the start of the second one to see if he had second thoughts. Oh, fucking hell. 
Hope you enjoy that. I uh, hope you ignore that first one because that was fucked. So, <laughs> <laughs> nah, this is the Victorian Don, the Don Pablo. Uh, shout out to the one or two other Victorians that are on this fucking podcast because they're absolute weapons and they know what the fucking life go through this shit kind of a lockdown. Um, but just hit the quaddy on oh, Caulfield today. Huge. Uh, Sierra Sue run an absolute fucking rager. That's, that's the horse that beat me. If my you horse had one team. thing you would send your fucking winnings at Caulfield on today, won the quaddy, what would it be? Thanks, boys. Love yous. Great question. Getting on the runs as soon as I can and having a fucking dip because this shit's fucking shit and I'm fucking done. Cheers, boys. A VR headset. A VR headset. I don't know why. Yeah, that's random. I just thought of it then. Aldi's got eight hundred dollar um like fucking massive TVs. Oh moment. yeah, no, I'll get a big, big fuck off TV huge. and just stand there and go. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll find, find a photo of it. <laughs> I, I sent it to my oh, girlfriend. I was like, "Should we get this?" And she's like, "Is it even good or cheap?" And I was like, "I've done no research, but <laughs> it Mate, looks Aldi's pretty good. the best. Seventy oh, inch, oh, seventy oh, inch, oh, seven hundred oh, bucks. Oh, seventy oh, inches massive." I won't forget that. I'm getting about to get cleaned out of my house. So as well. yeah, <laughs> fuck, exactly. <laughs> what? <laughs> fucking stock up. Yeah. Sunday, two fifty. We're getting towards the end here. This person again is called Twice. Sorry, we haven't listened to the first call now. I was a bit hit. Hey, boys. Yeah, first time caller, long time listener. Welcome. Go by the name uh, Nugget Ned. Love it. Um, that's the that's I'm the best of gold. Here gold Coast, just having a, a couple quiet days, you know. <laughs> Bev here or there. I was just wondering, what's your favourite beer when you're a couple um, naughty boys deep, you know? <laughs> like, do you usually go for a vodka lime and soda? A body orange, or maybe a CC and dry on tap. Oh, I don't know, I was just wondering what you guys think. Yeah, I'm, I'm anyway, bad. hope you guys have a good one. Fucking up, up, get the dog, run out, here we are. CC on, <laughs> dry, CC on dry is CC and dry yeah, on tap yeah. is so good. Yeah, but that's last, pretty much fucking. Last time I had it, I was trying to get from the valley to Kedron, and I came to and I was walking down the main street of South Bank, and I used to work there, and I was like, why am I at work? I was trying to go home. I went the opposite direction. So, I did that the other yeah. week. I woke up and fucking I was outside the W, and I'm like, <sighs> coming from Jeeps, and it's like a, it's like another yeah. hour, an hour home. I'm yeah. like, what the fuck? And, as and soon as I'm like, I come realized, to him, yeah. like, what the fuck? I'm miss fun. What the fucking? Yeah. Well, why am I here? And I remember, oh man, arguing with me a bit. Maybe that's why my Uber isn't that good anymore. Yeah. But <laughs> I respect the Great Northerns. I don't yeah. know why yeah, they just yeah, get yeah, so yeah, easy yeah. to drink off tap. Fuck. No, I'm definitely yeah uh, CCs. Or two is new. If I'm drinking CCs off on tap, or Vody Red clear. Bulls, actually, no Vody Red Bulls. I get real. Yeah, my missus had to put me up on that the other day. So yeah, it's yeah. <laughs> kill you. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. Oh, yeah. built different. Don't want that shit in my body. <laughs> two forty-two a.m. on Sunday. Today, fellas, absolutely loving the, the podcast. But caller. have a few questions. Uh oh. I just want to hear a few more girls because I feel like there's so many girls out there Fucking that are right. listening to the potty and we just want to hear from them. And yeah, yeah that's pretty much it. I'm just like <laughs> helping like my partner. He's like spewing in the toilet because he's so drunk. But like, yeah, I just wanted to get on because I love listening to you talk some shit and I just want to hear from more girls because I know there's so many more girls out there that like Fuck need yeah. to speak but like feel scared so I feel like they should speak anyway love the potty can't wait for more girls Bye. Yeah. Bye. fuck yeah yeah we're actually working on having I'm going to play the second one here as well because I feel like it was going to be funny but we're actually working on getting a girl on in the coming week so stay tuned mm. for that talk to us <laughs> we're so excited loading. <laughs> <laughs> yeah Franny wants to come on that week uh, can this load Yeah, hey fellas, um, love the potty, you're actually so funny. I just wanted to tell you, um, on Saturday night, I was out at the pub and like things were going good and then I spotted this boy, good looking boy, and I was like, yeah, you can come home with me and like, like have a sleepover. Anyway, he comes home and the he lays just in my bed, within about? 20 minutes he spends the whole He's just like spewing yep. up everywhere and I'm just like, that's disgusting and I hate vomit and I can't handle it. And then he just like starts, he just keeps spewing and spewing and spewing and then I ended up having to give him a shower to like clean him up, which was so annoying. So then I felt like I was his mother and it was so much more trouble than it was worth him coming home. I would have been better off uh, walking home from the pub by myself and just going to 
sleep. <laughs> and it would have been so much. I would have had, I woke up so much better in the morning. But it got me thinking that I want to know if a girl has ever done this to you or you have ever done it to a girl. Mm. Cheers. Bye. That's oh, so funny. Oh, yeah. So she's called up when that's happening and then obviously forgotten yeah, about yeah, it and yeah. called up to <laughs> 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 After she's had to shower. Yeah. Fuck, yeah. So oh, I've had that happen a couple of times. Yeah, we've all too. been there. Yeah, it's we've the worst. Been. Yeah, I've also, I've also been got, the one no, like no, yeah. doing the... Yeah. No, there, was, there was one... <laughs> <laughs> there was one, the most classic one that sticks in my mind is... Um, this chick, it was her 18th birthday and she messaged me and I was not out I had work the next morning and my phone just kept going off and this chick left her 18th birthday and rocked up and I'm sort of separate to my house. Like, uh, yeah, not really. Yeah, room is like... It's like you got to go out onto the deck and then come into my room. And so this chick had gone around the side up the back stairs and was just standing at my door. I was like, oh, I'm just in bed going to sleep. She's like, oh, I'm here. I was like, what the fuck? I opened up my door and I was like, oh, what the fuck? She's like, come in. And then she's just like, oh, it was such a good night. And then all of a sudden, just like starts throwing up in my toilet. What the fuck? And I was like, you need to go. Like, (laughs) you need to go. I'll drop you home. Like... She like lived down the road. I was like, you need to go. Like, I'll know. drop it. No. I was like, no, you need to fucking go. Like, yeah. happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> it was so funny. She was just throwing up. And I was like, oh, I can't deal so with this. Like, I've worked at six and it's currently that, two. Her birthday wish was to get. Yeah, fucking desperate. With the old class. <laughs> no, no, no. Hey, that, that birthday was to get dressed. She's going to be the most disappointing <laughs> birthday <laughs> ever. <laughs> Oh, so uh, this one's Wednesday night. <laughs> this one's Wednesday at lunchtime. That made me laugh. At all that referring to. We can't <laughs> just fuck them. Bundy Rum Rager, Rum Rager Tommy. This is That's twelve twenty-five p.m. Fuck. on Wednesday. What do you mean? We so like oh, after lunch. Fucking south. Fucking they're going to the grand final. Fucking. Oh, fucking. The Bulldogs won it on a banger. Go the Bulldogs! Yeah, <laughs> fuck boy. Should be at school right now, but fuck Should it. be at school right now. <laughs> fucking got on the view oh, instead. <laughs> fuck yeah, go on. Have a good one, lad. Oh, we've got fuck someone it. calling in from uh, <laughs> Holland. Holland. Thanks for our <laughs> Holland listeners. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Should be at school, but go on the Go the Bulldogs, yeah, 2022 premiere. That does sound like a chick. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> There's only two to go. Um, well, stay in school, kids. Yeah. Yeah. Don't get drunk on a Wednesday. <laughs> yeah, fucking. Oh, try and avoid get that. Drunk. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, <laughs> Love that. Monday. That's a Wednesday. Monday, five nineteen p.m. Uh, that's that's from TikTok. <laughs> what? Love that. I reckon that's somewhere from TikTok. Hey boys, a uh, couple of weeks behind the potty, unfortunately. But I'm on the episode where you're talking about your favourite fast food. Mm. And Ooh. no one failed to mention, no one uh, managed to mention this one. But, and I'm not sure how fast you can consider it. I don't think the wait time's too long, but I'm going to throw Subway in there. It's, oh, a, no. it's a nice clean feed. It's not. And it, it, it also gives you that little. I love Subway. Like, me too. Yeah, I do yeah, like Subway, but if I'm getting fast food, but I you're need also to eating it. pretty fresh. So yeah, just wondering your thought. Also, great hangover cure because good, good fit. Oh. Uh, have you tried? Have you tried Twisties? Yeah, it's a good franchise. Yeah. Yeah. So, anyway, KFC, have you tried KFC? That, yeah. Grow up. I understand that it might not be in the fast food category, but yeah, that's the problem. You never have to really wait more than. Well, you're not getting out of your car to get to Subway, are you? This is a weird oh, way for Jared yeah, to get boy. back into the Subway game. <laughs> oh, no way, no way. <laughs> but no, nah, I understand where you're coming from. But for me, fast food is great. You don't need. You don't need to get. Yeah, out of, you no. don't need to get out of your car. No. That's the big one. That's I'm eating in the car over. park. Fuck! Imagine yeah. if Subway was drive through. Yeah, you actually saw the salad bar as you're driving past. You just like creep. Oh, Lettuce, tomato, maybe onion, we can carrot. Pack lab that one, a subway drive through. Yeah. <laughs> Sub- no. No. <laughs> no. no. Simply no. No, sorry. Okay, last we were one. KFC advocates. Last yeah, one. me too. <laughs> Yesterday at 8 13 pm, which would be. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah, man! Alright, 
good Tuesday night. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the call, guys. <laughs> That well, wraps up the froth line Have a yeah, lovely Monday that, that was one of the better weeks yeah. Usually we get some That are just like Yeah, yeah. Just want to call up And uh, say hello How's that chick That made me laugh the most yeah, She said so my, cool. my part My boyfriend or yeah, whatever Yeah she said her boyfriend And then yeah, all of a sudden Some dude I just took yeah. out my stuff <laughs> <laughs> That's why I thought I was like fuck She's moved on quick yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that's awesome uh, One more thing that's I wanted right. to plug Before we go Is the Caxton um, Craft Park Party Coming oh, up yes. October 9 Yeah um, we're going to be there It's going to be fucking sick Saturday It's like Cat three Road weekends Carpa. away We're also thinking about Booking a little table For our um, podcast listeners For beforehand maybe mm. I was talking to Sterling Like we'll meet up beforehand For a beer But yeah 9th of October Craft not, Park Party Yeah not next week The Saturday. week after yeah. Okay not next week okay. Yeah It's yeah, the uh, week, week after the sevens. Hey we got oh, I'm commentating right? That's going to be fucking sick yeah. so Me me, uh, Rory Driscoll Seb Kirkpatrick And um, I think Paddy O'Toole maybe so I think me, Seb and Rory are going to get pissed and then just start commentating from about 9am. Oh, so good. When's that next weekend? Yeah, yeah. next weekend. If you're not doing anything next weekend, come down to Kenmore Bears. Come down and support, uh, support Pack and Stags. Uh, <laughs> I will, are you guys playing? No, no. we're playing up there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, have you guys got a team in? No, no. No, oh, awesome. Sione was, to, to, Sione was supposed to Fuck, well, I thought, I thought oh. you guys had a team in it. That's what I was saying. No, we were going to, but uh, <laughs> someone was a bit too late to get a team. No, no, because it was supposed but. to be um, oh, yeah. it was supposed to be that fe- a festival on. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. And, then, um, and then that got cancelled or moved. And then, mm. so, no. Yeah, fuck, should be awesome. It's going to be a cracker. Uh, good after party. Yeah. Good after like, party at? At Kenmore Bears. Bro, that place is massive. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So they got like a like big marquee or something set up. Uh, be some DJing. Beers, cool and a lot of Canadian clubs as well. <laughs> I do, I know why. <laughs> the, the slides are sick. <laughs> I used to go on them all the time as a kid. I can't wait yeah. to rediscover my inner child. Go and get on those slides. If anyone gets in my way, good luck. Anything else, guys? <laughs> no, I don't know. No. Thanks no, for thank having you. us, boys. Yeah, thanks for uh, having thank us no, as well. Thank you. Yeah, for having us. Good it's been, you mean good. Oh, I fucking. Oh, I was yeah. Except maybe Darcy. You've oh, been yeah. really abrasive. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah he's Sorry, off. that was a bit too far. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, I wasn't even that late. I just wanted to leave with a piece of wisdom that we keep getting told on TikTok and people like my girlfriend and stuff, and um, it, I think it'll be helpful for everyone out there. And that is, um, just beca- just because you can start a podcast doesn't mean you should. <laughs> 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 oh, we got that all the time. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, Mate, isn't, yeah we should probably listen to it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we, at least we planned a little bit better this I week. can't come over your next episode in six weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. Oh, Hagrid was my app idea, though. Yeah, good. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, man. That's all right. I'm going to get catchy after this. Jeez, he's only just getting over the West. Tell you what I'm not getting. Tell you what I'm not getting Subway. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid idea. Oh, fuck. All right, yep, don't guys. piss your shades. Give him heaps. Can't mind to see soon. That's, we should come up with yeah, well, actually, <laughs> cool. actually, before we leave, before we leave, we we do um we want to do like a power of the pod. So we're gonna get all everyone who's listening right now to go somewhere and comment. Don't piss your sheets on a post on. What, where should we get the like? What post should we do it on? Like someone it could be someone's Facebook or Instagram page. Um, what were we go- we were uh, gonna do one, weren't we? I thought you said there was one we were gonna do. This yeah, one. there was. Um, I can't remember. Hang on. Should we switch up? Let's yeah. We just want someone to wake up and just get, have like fucking been annoying lately. 20 Public things. Media. 20 Public things. It's like, don't piss the right. streets, give me minutes. I can't remember. I thought you guys might have had someone top of mind that you could. Um, oh, I think it was Ben Hunter. Yeah, we could do that. Hunter Thomas. No. No, nah, Ben Hunter. He's like uh, this comedian. Yeah. It somehow follows us on TikTok. Only follows three people and we're ben one Hunter. of them. Yeah. Right, like ben, ben Hunter. Hunter on yeah. his legend. We'll, we'll, um, this is coming out Friday morning. So we'll, we'll post in our group the post and everyone go to it and say, don't piss the sheets and tag Pack and us. Thank you. Yeah. Perfect. Fuck Love you. you all. Love you all. <laughs>